the operator wears one glove and the other one goes on the robot's hand. Now, 20 sensors like this are sewn into the fingers and the palm of the robot's glove. My glove, however, is different. Instead of sensors, it has tiny balloons sewn into it, which can be inflated by air coming in through these tubes. Now, when I press on the robot glove sensor, the change in pressure varies an electrical signal to a controller, which in turn varies the pressure of the air sent to the balloons on my glove. And I think you can see that that balloon there is inflating on my thumb. And it makes me feel as though I'm really touching something. Howard, uh, can I give you a hand for a minute and we can try it out? Right, I'll simulate a, a moving robotic arm, putting the glove on. Now over here, I've got some mystery objects. I've got a, a grapefruit, a golf ball, and Henry, the Angoran rabbit. You've got to guess which one I'm touching. OK, here right. we go. Oh, that must be the rabbit. You're right. <laughs> You've won yourself a grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> this system is a prototype, but it does open up new possibilities for doing intricate work at a distance. And it should also make its way into the world of virtual reality, allowing you to feel computer-generated objects that don't actually exist. And we'll be exploring that world next week. So until then, good night. OK, which is this one? How about that? Oh, it's a grapefruit. You're absolutely right again. <laughs> All right, that's about... Uh, OK, this is a tricky one. How about that? Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, golf ball. Well, it's a carrot. <laughs> Thank you, I don't <laughs> want to see any more carrots. All right, well, let's go for... Can you feel anything?